despite a rough childhood and his parents separating at a young age, that didn't stop Dwayne Wade from having an illustrious 16-year NBA career. But how did the family Dwayne Wade came from affect the family that he would end up making himself? Find out by watching this video on Dwayne Wade's family. Blocked by Dwayne Wade out of bounds! Get that shot out of here! On January 17, 1982, Dwayne Wade Sr. and Jalinda Wade gave birth to their second child, Dwayne Tyrone Wade Jr. Yes, it's Dwayne with the Y before the A, and no, this was not an error or mistake on his birth certificate. If anybody had made any mistake, it was his paternal grandmother who spelled his dad's first name wrong so often that they just adopted it. Not much is known about the origin of Jalinda Wade, but she had two girls from a previous marriage before she married Wade Sr. in 1977. They both had two more kids, Dwayne Wade Jr. and Tragil Wade, but the reunion would not last long. When the NBA legend was only four months old, the couple separated, with Jalinda winning custody of both him and his sister Tragil. Jalinda soon moved her family to Southside Chicago to live with her mother. You might think this was a bad decision due to Southside Chicago's reputation for gang activity and crime, but Jalinda was no stranger to those things as she had grown up around here. When she was growing up, she was addicted to drugs, alcohol, and had a very hard and impoverished life. So back in Southside Chicago again, she took up her old habits, but this time she infused entrepreneurship into it. While she would frequently abuse drugs and leave needles in the house, she also sold some of it off to make ends meet. She loved her kids dearly, especially Dwayne, and would always give him money for stuff even when they had little. But she couldn't just help her addiction. She brought drug dealers over to her house and would deal in front of her kids. Wade also experienced raids by the police when he was a little kid, and because of this, she lost the presence of her son for two years after Trangel took Wade away from his mother's house and placed him in the care of their father. Devastated, Jalinda went deeper into her addiction and almost died one day after she injected the wrong drug. She was a regular churchgoer and her family did receive some form of support through welfare, but she couldn't let go of those demons. Addiction is so difficult and eventually she was arrested. Wade was 10 years old when he visited his mother in prison and one time he even sent a picture with the words on the back of it that read, I'm going to come back and get you, and we're going to live a fabulous life. After a few years, things began to change when she started to see her son's flourishing high school basketball career. Jalinda Wade soon vowed to break her addiction to drugs when, as she claimed, she heard a voice speak to her after she read the second epistle to Timothy 3.5. She started by turning herself in to the local authorities, where she would spend 18 months in jail and serve as a minister in the closing periods of her sentence. She missed the majority of her son's college basketball games, but got released on March 5, 2001, three days before his final home game at Marquette University. Although she was on probation, the Wade family pleaded for her to be allowed to travel to her son's game. The request was granted, and she witnessed her son carry his team to the Final Four. In 2007, Jalinda Wade was ordained as a Baptist minister and formed the non-denominational church called New Creation Binding and Loosing Ministry in Chicago but the church was later dissolved in 2020. Currently, she is a health and wellness advocate and also ministers in her online spiritual service called Word of Life Voices. She has also authored a book titled Divine Grace Behind the Walls, but that's not all. In her attempt to heal totally and help others exit the darkness that she went through herself, she released a short emotional film titled Coming Out of the Darkness, where she portrayed herself. It turned out to be quite a fairy tale ending, wouldn't you say so? Wondering what happened to Dwayne's father? Well, strap in, let's find out together. Dwayne Wade's mother might have been his motivation for excellence in the game of basketball, but it was his dad who really set his son on the path of greatness in the sport. After his separation from Jalinda, Dwayne Sr. married Bessie McDaniel, and they both raised three children, Darnell, Codmus, and Demetrius McDaniel. The family also lived in Chicago, but in a separate neighborhood from Jalinda and her kids. The environment was a lot safer and healthier, and Dwayne Sr. was financially stable. He had a white-collar job and was the coach of a basketball youth team at the recreational center in his community. He had been a basketball player in his youth and was eager and passionate about passing his knowledge to younger men especially, and his son. 
Demetrius, and Dwayne Jr., who joined in later. As we've conveyed, Dwayne Sr. was very much in love with basketball, and Dwayne recalls how he would always play basketball with or without his kids, and how he had said he would still be dunking at the age of 50. He coached Wade and Demetrius on two separate courts, on the Blue Island Rec Center and on the small court in his home. He was particularly tough on Dwayne, and even the neighbors that got to watch them practice were angry at how Wade Sr. treated his child. But all Wade saw was a tough love that was necessary, which he confirmed in an interview. Quote, he taught me the game, what I needed to know to win games. My toughness on the court came from him knocking me down and not picking me back up. He was one of the biggest influences on me. He put the ball in my hands, he played all day and all night, and I wanted to too. End quote. Nevertheless, Wade Jr. soon left his father's home when he reached his junior year in high school to live with the family of the woman that would become his first wife. This was because Dwayne Wade became frustrated by the marital conflicts between Wade Sr. and his wife, Bessie McDaniels, before they eventually got divorced themselves. As for Wade Jr., he continued to visit his father, who was later there for him all through his NBA career. Wade Sr. is currently the founder and president of Pro Pops Foundation, an organization that was established to support fathers and their children. The organization also led to his new wife, a Miami-based entrepreneur named Danielle Coping, and they met in 2011 and then tied the knot in 2018 in Venice, Italy. But despite being married to other women and starting other families, he maintained a close relationship with Jolinda, and the two are still friends to this day. In 2021, Dwayne Wade posted pictures of himself and his entire family, which included Jolinda and Dwayne Sr. together. They were all smiles on a yacht during a summer getaway in Italy. The only very important part of Dwayne's life that was missing that day was Trajel Wade. Let us finally meet this awesome woman and Dwayne's other sibling. Dwayne had a total of six siblings, three girls from his mother Jolinda, and three boys from stepmother Bessie McDaniels. Most of his siblings led private lives, but Darnell is active online where he shares his journey as an entrepreneur. According to his Instagram profile, he is the CEO of Celebrity Sports Academy and an athletic coordinator for Menta Sports Academy. Demetrius, on the other hand, is also active online. His Instagram account tells the story of his association with celebrities in the NBA, such as Russell Westbrook, Jimmy Butler, and James Harden. Let's not forget that he was the other person in the family that had played basketball. He was a star basketball player at Harold L. Richards High, which was the same school Wade Jr. had attended. But the years didn't make him a basketball legend like his stepbrother. As for Trajel Wade, saying that she has grown to be a successful and powerful woman would be an absolute understatement. Being the elder sister of Dwayne Wade, she is a true example of what a loving elder sister should be. She did her best to make sure that Dwayne was as safe as possible while they stayed within the challenging neighborhood they were in with their mother. She would do her best to make sure her little brother never got into any trouble of any sort. When Dwayne was eight, Trajo decided to make a smart decision that would change young Dwayne's life forever and that of his family. She lied to him that they were going to the movies, but her little brother noticed that the bus journey was longer than usual. When they got to the street of the apartment their dad lived in, she took Wade in and lied again that she would be back. She would not return for a few months, so Dwayne Jr. could be accustomed to his new life without looking back. It was a decision that really hurt her, but which she knew was best for her little brother. Many years after her action, her brother has become an NBA legend and she has taken her kind-heartedness out there into the world. She started a foundation known as the Big Sisters Foundation in 2017, which was inspired by her struggles with Dwayne Wade and their mother. The aim of the foundation is to help youths that face similar challenges as she did in her childhood. Addressed now as Dr. Trajil Wade Johnson, she is an entrepreneur, philanthropist, life coach, inspirational speaker, and author. She graduated in 1998 with an associate's degree in early childhood education from San Diego City College. She also has a bachelor's degree from San Diego University in elementary education with a minor in psychology. Actually, her resume is quite robust. As you could tell from her title, she actually has an honorary doctorate in humanitarianism, which she earned in 2021 from the Global International Alliance Advocate University. She started her own family in 2020 after she married Edward Johnson, and together they have two kids, Prince and Ariana. Dwayne Wade himself has also been busy with the start and maintenance of his own family. 
His family started with Sivan Funches. The story of Sivan is a pretty rocky and complicated one, but growing up, she and Wade had been best friends. They were in fifth grade when they met and had gone on to become high school sweethearts. Wade has also been partially raised by Sivan's mother, Darlene Funches, after he moved in with her family during the fights between Wade Sr. and Bonnie. According to Darlene, she had provided for Wade like he was her kid, and this meant everything from food to computer access, even his college fees. At this time, Savan was also mourning the loss of her only sibling and sister. But it gets even more interesting. When Dwayne asked to live with Darlene Funches, Savan wasn't around because she had left to start college a year ahead of Wade, but being in her mother's house meant that he could communicate with her on the phone better before he too left to join her at Marquette University. They were both 20 years old when they had their first child, Zaire, in 2002, and they also tied the knot that same year, which was the year before Wade would be drafted by the Miami Heat. The two lovebirds had their second child, Zion Wade, in May 2007, who later changed his name to Zaya. Stick around to the end of the video to find out why. Following a series of falling outs and quite a period of instability in their marriage, they split in 2007, just months after the birth of their second child, Zaya. Dwayne accused Savan of being mentally unstable and out for money, while Savan accused Dwayne of infidelity, domestic abuse, and neglect of both her and their kids. Wade would later file for divorce in 2010, and in 2011, Dwayne Wade won custody of his children as the court considered Savan too mentally unstable to raise her children. In 2013, the divorce was finalized and settlements were made with Dwayne Wade paying $25,000 monthly. But this wouldn't be the last time we would hear from his ex-wife. After the unsuccessful marriage, Funches decided to get her life back. She is currently a speaker who has authored two books, The True Story for God's Glory, The Life of Savan L. Funches Wade, and You Gotta Let God Finish. All publications were made by her company known as a Wow Woman Publishing Company. Another company she created was a Women's Worth Foundation Incorporated, a nonprofit that helps women and children that are victims of domestic violence, just like the one she claimed to have faced in the hands of D. Wade. She's well endowed intellectually as she has a bachelor's degree in psychology and a master's in professional counseling and two doctorates in law and theology. She has been living a good life, but in 2022, she and Wade were entwined with yet another court battle. You see, in August 2022, Wade had filed a petition in court to legally change Zion's name to Zaya and her gender to female. So Funches kicked back with her own petition with a part of the document reading, quote, I have concerns that Wade may be pressuring our child to move forward with the name and gender change in order to capitalize on the financial opportunities that he has received from companies and will receive based upon his statements to me, on the basis of our child's name and or gender change. End quote. In order for the court order to stand, Funches' signature would be needed, and she never gave it. But Wade's new wife, Gabrielle Union, was in full support of Zaya's transition. Before we meet the kids, let's meet Union, who you most likely know already. Gabrielle Monique Union, born in Omaha, Nebraska on October 29, 1972, is an alumni of the University of California. She's an actress, author, and activist for women's rights. She grew up Catholic and dealt with self-esteem issues. In college, while working part-time, she was attacked, assaulted, and raped, but she has since overcame that trauma. She started acting in the late 90s, appearing in episodes of Star Trek, Seventh Heaven, and even Friends before landing more prominent roles in both drama series and movies, including Bad Boys 2, Daddy's Little Girl, and Think Like a Man. Dwayne Wade was not the first sports star Gabrielle Union had been married to. She divorced former NFL player Chris Howard in 2006 following their separation the year before. She and Dwayne started dating in 2008, and they got married six years later on August 30th, 2014 in Miami, Florida. Given that they were both divorcees, they both signed a prenuptial agreement to protect their individual assets. On November 7th, 2018, they welcomed their first child together, Kavia James Union Wade via surrogate. You might recognize Kavya from a few popular memes. Kavya Wade is Gabrielle's first child and Dwayne Wade's fourth. She was born on November 7, 2018, as we said, but since this picture went viral in 2020 during the pandemic, she has gone on to become sort of a celebrity. She's one of the most popular children in the world right now, and that's because she has an expression for every mood that you could possibly think of. If you're sad, angry, surprised, or whatever, there's a picture of Kavya out there that would definitely fit your mood. In fact, there's a book containing all the expressions of Kavya called The Shady Baby, which is a New York Times bestseller. 
It was authored by both Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. Truth is, Kavya deserves her own show right here. What do you think about that? Anyway, let's meet her sibling. When you're the first son of Dwayne Wade, you know you have some big expectations to live up to. Born on February 4th, 2002, Zaire Wade wanted to play basketball just like his dad. In his freshman year of high school, he played for Mount Carmel High School in Chicago, Illinois, alongside his cousin, Davian Morris. Zaire would later attend American Heritage School in Plantation, Florida for two years while playing high school basketball there before transferring to Sierra Canyon School. At the elegant Californian private school, he would spend his entire senior year playing alongside Bronny James, who is, of course, the son of his dad's former teammate, LeBron James. He wouldn't really get a lot of minutes on the court as game time was hard to come by with all the talents at the school. He would later make a decision he might have regretted when he chose a different path from his father as Zaire chose to not go to college but straight into professional basketball. On October 2022, Zaire Wade got drafted by the Salt Lake City Stars, which is a G League team affiliated with the Utah Jazz, as the 10th pick in the 2021 NBA G League Draft. Coincidentally, his dad was a part owner of the Utah Jazz at that time, and people were quick to point out the nepotism at play as he was a 3 out of 5 star high school recruit, not exactly setting the world on fire. He barely played for half a year before being ruled out for the rest of the season in March in 2022 due to a serious injury. And to add insult to that injury, he was waived by the team. Zaire may be the son of Dwayne Wade and have the athleticism in his genes, but he lacked the grit, determination, and drive that made his father the legend he is. But as for Zaya Wade... Zaya was born Zion Malachi Aramis Wade on May 29, 2007 in Miami, Florida. The second child of Dwayne Wade and Savon Funches would not be known for basketball like her elder brother, but the life choices she made. In 2020, Zaya came out as transgender and changed not only their name from Zion to Zaya, but their identity as well, preferring to be addressed as her and she. Duane made a public statement about this supporting his child's transition. Although Zaya may not have support from her mom on her life choices, she has all the motherly support she can ask for in her stepmother, Gabrielle Union. As for the last child of Wade, Xavier Zachariah Wade was born on November 10, 2013 in Los Angeles to Dwayne Wade and Aya Matoyer, while Dwayne Wade was on break from his relationship with Gabrielle Union. Aya Matoyer is an American reality television star and social media personality. The Basketball Wives star has two other children, Amara and Amaya Wayans, with famous actor Damon Wayans Jr. Xavier may live with his mother, but Wade doesn't fail to show his support and shower him with love. He once said of Xavier, quote, It's up to me to let him know that while distance may physically separate us at times, I'm always going to be the man he can depend on to love him and help lead him. What I've come to learn over my life is that fatherhood isn't a monolithic image that looks the same in every household. Each relationship is different. All I'm concerned about with Xavier is him always knowing he's loved. End quote. Well, that's all you could possibly need to know about the family of Dwayne Wade. If you enjoyed this video, you could certainly fall in love with this next one. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more.